Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how you can easily use my retouching actions that are going to be automatic and they're going to help you edit your images faster in Photoshop. So I want to show you how you can easily use and apply these actions in your daily workflow to get the best results when it comes to editing faster and quicker in Photoshop. And if I told you shoot weddings and studio photos, you know sometimes it can tend to be overwhelming and you have so much work to edit. So these actions are going to help you edit faster in Photoshop. And if I told you want to purchase the actions, check the links in the description of this very video so that you can purchase these actions. So after you have purchased the actions, you're going to get a link and download the files. And after downloading them, the, the next thing is going to be unzipping the file. So when you unzip the file, it means that it is going to be ready for you to install in Photoshop. So how to install the actions in Photoshop? Simply come right here to Window and come and make sure you have selected actions right there. And it's going to open up the actions panel right there. And after doing that, simply come to these lines right here. Simply left click on them and just come and select load actions and locate the actions where they are. So I'm just going to locate mine. So these are actions. Simply click on the actions and simply hit open. So mine are already loaded into Photoshop. And I'll show you I can easily use these actions in your daily Photoshop or editing workflow. So you can see this is more of a medium shot. So I'll just come right here to the actions. So these are the actions and we have eight actions. So I'll just come to my medium automatic action right there and simply hit play. So just come and play the action. So action is going to play and load and create for you these layers. And as soon as it is done playing, what you have to do, it is going to automatically select the brush for you. And what you have to do, you are just going to make sure the opacity in the flow is at 100%. And now increase on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. And what you have to do next is simply coming and painting on the skin. Just like that. And the action is going to automatically edit the skin for you. So reduce on the size and paint on these dark areas to create a uniform kind of skin. So just come and paint on these areas. So if at all you want to paint on the highlight area of the nose, we are going to see how to go about that. So just come and paint on only those areas using a white brush. So you can now increase on the size and also come and paint on the hand just like that. So you have to paint on each and every area that has skin in your image. So to paint on these tiny areas or highlight areas, we are simply going to reduce on the flow of the brush to around 25. It is okay. So you can now use a flow of 25 and paint on the highlight area. And if at all it is still too much, you can use a low flow of a brush to paint on those areas. So I'm just going to paint, reduce on the size and paint on the fingers so you have to be careful when it comes to painting on the edges of your photos so just paint just like that so when it comes to the nose area you can use a relatively low radius because we don't want to lose out on this bright area of the nose or the highlight of the nose and you can paint on the chin just like that and by just doing that we have been able to retouch the skin so this is the image before, after, before, after. Let me zoom in slightly. So this is the image before, after, before, after. And if at all you have made a mistake, just switch the brush back to black and you can erase the retouching from a given area. So I'll just put it back to 100%. So you can erase the effect from a given area. So before, after, before, after. Then after doing that, you can go ahead and remove the pimples or blemishes. Then if at all you want to make the image look better, you can now come and play the, the auto pop action. Just play it and it's going to make the image pop. So before, after, before, after. So if I thought it is too much, you can come and reduce on the opacity of the pop effect to your liking. So after doing that, you can now come and play your eyes and teeth. So just come and play the eyes and teeth action and it's going to start playing and after doing that just come using a brush and just paint 
in the eyes to whiten the eyes just like that so before after and if at all the effect is too much always come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity as well if at all the off the effect of the retouching is too much you can always come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking so after doing that you can now come and play the auto blacks action if at all you have blacks in the image to correct the blacks in the, the photo so i'll just come and reduce on the effect because we don't have so many of the blacks within uh, this very image so this is what we have right now so anything that we want to do or we would love to do if at all you want to create uniform skin tones for this kind of model just come and play the uniformity gradient map action and simply select it and play it and it's going to apply this color so if at all you want the exact skin tone for the model what you have to do select this gradient icon right there and simply come and hide this layer then simply click on the color option and you can left click on this pointer once and choose a darkest point of the skin tone so I'll just choose this as the darkest point of the model skin tone and hit ok click on the brightest point and click on the color option choose the brightest point of the skin tone hit ok then click on the middle pointer then choose what you feel is the mid-tones of uh, the model skin and click ok so just doing that just hit ok select the layer mask and press ctrl i on the keyboard and activate this layer so with the brush tool still selected you can now come and paint over the model skin and this is going to help you have that kind of uniform skin color or skin tones if at all you are a fan of evening out or having to create matching or even skin tones for your images when it comes to a photoshop so i'm just going to paint on the skin just like that so i'm basically using a white brush to paint on the model skin so you can see this is what we have right now so take your time as you're painting on uh, the model skin so that you can have the best results possible so if at all you make a mistake always use the black brush to erase the effect so this is very nice easy and simple to use for anyone out there so you can now zoom out and look at the image at a distance before after so when the effect is too much always reduce on the opacity to your liking so it's the before after before after and this is how you can use the automatic skin retouching actions and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to purchase the actions using the link in the video description so this is the before after before after before and after and this is how you can easily edit faster and retouch faster when it comes to photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you need more videos and don't forget to purchase the ronix automatic skin retouching actions for photoshop see you in the next one